Okay, let me guess. You have heard that selling your home during the holiday season is the worst decision to make. The market is dead during the holidays and you won't sell your home, right? <laughs> well, today we are going to talk about that situation. Okay, guys? As you know, my name is Deontay Lawrence, your real estate go-to. And today we're gonna to go over 11 reasons why you should actually sell your home during the holiday season and not listen to that family member who has only sold their home once in the past 15 years, you know? <laughs> so let's get into it. So let's start with number one. Typically, buyers who are looking during the holiday season are a lot more serious. They're less likely to spin your tires, which is great for you because you are going to get your home under contract and you are going to close nine times out of 10 because you don't have to worry about a buyer kind of being shaky. Number two, serious buyers have less homes to simply choose from during the holiday season because of what we're talking about now, but that does benefit you because they're able to find your home, right? Which means more money in your pocket because you have more serious buyers looking at your home compared to a number of homes that would be on the market during the spring and summer. Number three, after January, what happens, right? People start to list more of their homes, which means more competition, which means less demand on your home because buyers have more options, which ultimately results in less money in your pocket. Number four, homes simply look so much better during the holidays. They have that holiday spirit, you know, people are decorating it and simply just making that house look amazing, which ties into number five. Buyers are simply more emotional during the holiday season and emotional in regards to that, that joyous spirit. And when they're seeing their homes, they're feeling themselves in your home, right? And that's what we want, that emotional tie to your home that they're putting an offer on it. Number six, buyers simply have more time to look at homes during the holidays than just a regular work week because of all that time off. Also remember this, number seven, some people simply need to purchase a home for tax purposes before the end of the year. So you do have that influx of buyer as well. Number eight is a very unique one because think about this. Employees typically start their new jobs in January, but they can't wait till spring to get in their new house. So what are they doing? They're looking now during the holiday season to find their house, go under contract. So by the time January rolls around, they already have their home they're and they're ready to go. And number nine, we get it. You know, you have the family over, you don't want to have interruptions in regards to showings, but guess what you can do? You restrict showings for those six or seven days that the family is going to be over, but still have the home on the market for those days that the family is not going to be on the market and get our showings in there. So we're still able to, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Then we have number 10 people. So I understand people still want to be in their home for the holidays, but that does not have to stop you from selling because what you're able to do is go under contract, close, but we'll be able to put in the contract whether having a delayed closing or some type of post occupancy till after the holidays for the new buyer to move in, which is an amazing option as, as well for you. If that's your, your main thing, you want that one last holiday in the home. And then finally, number 11. Selling your home now allows you to, in the spring, when we're going to look to buy our bigger home, we don't have to be a contingent buyer, okay? Contingent meaning I have to sell my house before I buy a new house, right? That puts us in a stronger position in that spring market where there's gonna be a lot more demand and we're gonna have to have a stronger offer. So we already have our money in the pocket from selling the home in the holidays. Then we jump into the spring. We don't have to have a contingency in place. We can jump right in, have a strong offer and be in our home a few months later. So. Listen guys, 11 solid reasons. If you are thinking about selling, you should sell, right? So if you guys wanna flesh that out any more, my contact information is down here, as you guys know. Reach out, send me a text, direct message, call, I'm here for you guys. And always remember, in real estate, there are only two people that can get you exactly what you want, okay? That's D-A-U. Talk soon, guys.